so high on them, and, and, and they are doing a great job this year of, of keeping up that energy regardless of their slow start. Kennard from the free throw line knocks it down, and Ty Lue is head coach who set him straight. And off to a good start after that shot. Tatum on the baseline. Great footwork, Richard, in the bucket. Isolated against Tice on the wing. That's a favorable matchup for Kennard. Tice stayed with him nicely. Jackson now. Kennard relocates to the corner and two for two. He's got five quick points for the Clippers. We talked about it, free agent pickup for the Clippers, but you know, really hasn't found his rhythm. And a lot of it, I feel, is because of Nicholas Batum and, and his you know rise and, and showing up. You know, you got to use these minutes that, that are going to be available with Paul George out to kind of get yourself going. Let's see. Oh, here's the third one on the way. There we go, right on cue. Luke Kennard, the early offensive catalyst for the Clippers. Little catch and get ball with Ibaka, who knocks down the mid range jump shot. Grant Williams tasked with trying to stick Kawhi Leonard, rolls in with one hand and extends for the layup. You know, it was so, so tough, obviously playing in Cleveland, not getting invited to the bubble, then starting off training camp with a, with a messed up hamstring. He didn't get cleared. You see Jason Tatum with the three. <laughs> that can do it. Man, you talk about something really unique. How hard well, is well, that? This is it, it's next to impossible. You look at that as you see Kawhi knock down that free throw jumper from his spot. And I've seen him play a little bit here with the Celtics this year. He's tough. He is scrappy and he will compete. He can shoot the basketball. You give him room, he'll make shots. Are you sure? Well, I had a feeling he would make them. Okay. He he earned the trust, but he was also given that opportunity with Kimba Walker out. And right. you know, whenever you get those opportunities, you got to maximize them. So even with Luke Kennard having Paul George out tonight. Jason Tatum, a tough step back, no good. Great hustle by Thompson. That's what he does. Offensive rebound, another opportunity for Tatum. Tight loss against the Sacramento Kings. We're playing good basketball right now. Here's Thompson wheeling into the paint. With that left hand goes over his right shoulder <laughs> up to Jason Tatum whose usage is going to be pretty high tonight without Jalen Brown in the lion out with an ankle injury Tatum well that's good usage knocks down another jumper that first game back is always tough just because you don't have your normal home rhythm so that's why it's still considered like the last road game of the trip what a shot instant offense at times off the bench and the lead is down to three. Leonard off the screen. Robert Williams picked him up. Good help defense by the Celtics. Guarded by Tatum. Love to see that matchup head to head. Terrence Mann comes off the screen. Got his man on his hip and knocked down the mid-range jump shot. Terrence Mann kicks it out to Kawhi. One more to Lou Williams. And his short jumper is good. Edwards with a strong drive, and you heard the Clippers say, don't bring that stuff in here. Back comes Mann. Lou Williams on the move inside underneath to Morris for the reverse layup. Here's Teague trying to get downhill. Spins into the paint. Williams up high. Got it and won. That's something that Jeff Teague can still do at a very good level. Yeah, former All-Star with the Hawks when they won 60 games several years ago. Inside Lou Williams. It's going to be a long or a quick night, depending on how you look at it for the Boston Celtics if they don't shore up that glass. Yeah, well said. Robert Williams, one of those candidates that can do some work on the glass, slams that home at the offensive end. Zubots posting up inside. Good position off glass. Boy. Little horn set here by Boston. Walker out top. Kimba Walker back in action after missing the previous game. Carson Edwards. Knocks down his second three-pointer. Knocking down threes, Terrence Mann. Boy, what a pass between the legs of Williams. But it never made it to its target. Here's Carson Edwards again. Tomorrow night on ABC and the ESPN app, Mavericks and Warriors. Off the miss, Reggie Jackson trying to shake Edwards. Out to Marcus Morris, and he drills the three. Well, a lot of it, again, for players, especially veteran players, it's about communication. You know, veteran players are such about rhythm, such about feel, and the team was rolling. Uh, as you see, Williams knocks down the three. Players can see when the team is rolling, and they don't want to mess with that. But, you know, for, for Morris, it's more of like, hey, when Kawhi or PG go out of the game, you can be one of our, our, our primary scorers. Now a mismatch, Morris, they double-team. 
They put the Celtics in rotation. Here's Batum. Shot clock down to four and a slam inside by Zubats. It just hampers what, what, what he's able to do. And you can see that earlier when we put up the graphic with career lows across the board. Here he is out front working against Connard. That's a good matchup for him. Lead is down at six points now. This is as close as Boston has been in a while. Connard still stuck on automatic from that corner three. And now Tatum against Connard, a couple of former Duke teammates. Inside, Subots with a tough catch in traffic and conversion. You got to be aggressive. That ball's going to touch your hands maybe one or two times in a possession. So you got to make something. You got to make something for yourself as you see a great cut by Carson Edwards. Oh. You got to find opportunities. You can't just wait for something to flow your way. Uh, and, and it's a great opportunity for Luke Kennard to get going as you see. Oh, with another jumper and right there. Going. With 520, pardon me, 422 to go in the first. Leonard. Extra pass to Batum, and Batum laces the three ball. I remember that, big Bob. I, the first chance I had a, ch a chance to talk to him about it. So, yeah, no, I'm a basketball historian, man. I love this game, so I'm yeah. familiar. Never got a chance to see Bob McAdoo play. After that, Edwards jumper, the league lead back at 14. Leonard behind the Ibaka screen. Stare down mid-range jumper. He kind of makes things look easy. That's why he has a chance to be in very, very elite category with those numbers that he's putting up right now. Shemi Ojale got his put back to go off the strong drive. If you want to get your free throws up by a couple, you almost have to double your paint attacks. Interesting. Like that. Kali Leonard with the fadeaway on the baseline knocks it in. Under a minute to go. 13-point lead for the Clippers. They've led from the opening tip. Tatum. Punches it home, says it with his chest, like you were saying. First half, 13 points. And a rare start for him. Here's Morris. Fires over Thompson, and it's pure. Calling out the defense. Saw they wanted to get it to Tatum. Instead, it's going to be Walker off the screen. The elbow jumper is good. good. I mean, that's surprising, Richard, because they're number nine in the league in defensive efficiency Thompson underneath with the jump hook muscles it in over Batum Thompson said that Tommy wants to join Marcus Smart on the NBA's all defensive team that's the goal that he set for himself Tatum handling the offense with the three ball in the Celtics you can hear him this year man you can hear him this year yeah, but you know great players, you know, they, they constantly are trying to get out of their comfort zone as Kemba Walker knocks down the three to cut it to five Denver Nuggets Every game at least early in the season almost feels like a referendum on their chemistry And when your leader can be vocal, I'm sure that helped He got a got a little bit of a pass last last but it wasn't just Paul George that struggled It was it was Kawhi and Paul George that struggled in those fourth quarters now one on one against Grant Williams spins underneath and got it with the reverse. Yeah, there's not much you can do there. Just a great little spin move way to use the backboard for protection. And Thompson finishing off the two man game. And that's one of those opportunities when you talk about, OK, how does he get to the free throw line? You know, I, I, I'm not saying that, you know, he settled as you see Batum with the offensive rebound there Just kind of settling for that contested three even though he can make them even though he's great If you want to get to the free throw line Those are the shots that you might want to pass up on and just try and get to the paint Oh, yeah, now that that's such an, an awesome thing especially to see it from a young player You know if he plays in this league for 10 plus years, you're gonna see this you see Jason Tatum with the footwork and the step mm. he's on and Boston can make it a three-point game here. Edwards up to Tatum, steps into a three. Butter. Oh. Jason Tatum makes it a two-point contest. Or even take the lead. Kemba Walker. And a tough shooting night for him. Just five of 13. It's going to be Williams instead. Ooh. And he gives Boston the lead. They're shooting the ball well, but they just didn't do a very good job on the glass. So this quarter, they have done a much better job on the glass. Leonard missing. As I say that, and then they give up an offensive rebound. Grant Williams might need a sling in his arm after being grabbed by Kawhi Leonard. The first by one, Celtics have battled back. This is Pritchard for three, and he got it. Bringing it up court against Batum. 
Grant Williams sets a good screen. Tatum strolls through the paint with the finger roll. Ooh, great Euro to the left with the scoop underhand. Zubats punching it home in traffic. <laughs> You know, they had that heartbreaking loss uh, to Denver after playing so well early in the bubble. But I think they can they can maintain it because it's defense. Remember the last time he saw the Clippers, he gave him a 39 piece. Here's Ojale, thought about it, pulls, got it. You know, there, both there's ends some, of the floor. Yeah, you know, both ends of the floor. Yeah, way to clarify that there, Mark. Hey, just the Boston Celtics. Behind the screen, Tatum. Floater rims in and out, tipped in by Robert Williams. What a turnaround here in the period for Boston. Batum off the screen, got it. Laces another three. You can see the difference there. Clippers were just six for 21 in the third quarter. Zubats inside and lays it in. Now let's see a little sense of urgency here for the Clippers to start the first. Yeah, Boston outscored them, Richard, 38 to 20, 20 in the third period. Tatum had 12, and he continues on that torrid pace. You know, he's got a lot of NBA, yeah, a lot of NBA connection. Larry Hughes, his godfather, played basketball with his father at St. Louis. And Tatum up now to Kemba Walker. Walker just lost the handle, gave it away to Morris. A little bit of rust falling off of his game, and. Terrence Mann converts it at the other end for the Clippers. Williams sets the screen for Kemba. Robert Williams free throw line jumper is pure. And they'll have a nice stretch, the Clippers will, of eight games out of the next ten at home. Inside, Zubats off the great feed by Batum. You got a great stretch at home. This is a great opportunity for them to really get some distance there in that race. Boy, Shemi Ojale having a tough time shooting the ball. And here comes Lou Williams. Morris had a notion. Back out to Lou Will over Robert Williams and knocks it in. You know, Lou Will still has the ability to get it going very, very quickly. And no doubt, Robert Williams, the short pocket, knocks down the baseline jump shot. Two great young superstars in Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And I definitely believe that Jalen Brown is an all-star this year. I'm with you on that. He's improved his scoring by seven points a game. There's a look at Brown not playing tonight. But Tatum's got his back. Williams spins. Count it. Tristan Thompson staring down Zubats. Little bully ball inside. Putting some muscle in his hustle. Thompson with the bucket. All over Williams and now the switch. Teague trying to stick Leonard. Man, that's a tough shot. That's blinking. I'll have to do it without him here for a little bit. Morris side pocket three, got it. No Paul George, and for right now, no Kawhi Leonard. And the Clippers have battled back. Walker inside, through the contact for the layup. And the Clippers with a chance to tie or take the lead on a three. Morris quickly down court. Good look inside. Ibaka with a good looking post up. Yeah. I love it when bigs, even when you're a stretch five like Serge Ibaka, sprint to that middle of the floor, find the mismatch. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, you know, show itself, then just get back out, go up and run a pick and roll as Kemba Walker now. Well within reach of that, with plenty of time to play. Four minutes to go. Austin up by a bucket. Kawhi got to a spot. And once again, a chance to take the lead. Leonard behind the defense. Draws a crowd, spins away, back in the saddle again. 108 to 106. Of the game, they double team Kawhi. He gives it up, Williams for the lead, got it. And the Clippers go up one. Kemba Walker got the steal after the turnover into the paint. And Kemba Walker gives Boston a one point advantage. Making it a five point game. Clippers out of timeouts. Williams has to go to work quickly here. The three. Got it. It's a two-point game. 